My name is Sibylle Leubel and I'm a gynecological oncologist from Frankfurt. I'm also the chair of the German Breast Group. So uh, the DBO9 study was actually a three-arm trial investigating whether TDXD or TDXD plus pertuzumab would be in, uh, superior in terms of um, improvement of progression-free survival compared to THP, which is our long-standing standard in first-line metastatic breast cancer. Um, so the rationale was, of course, having seen the data of Destiny Breast 03 and Destiny Breast 02, uh, to move TDXD uh, a line forward and also offer those, this drug to patients with first-line metastatic heteropositive breast cancer regardless of the hormone receptor status and also regardless if the treatment, if they have already received treatment in early breast cancer or if they had de novo metastatic breast cancer. Now, there's a very interesting question. Um, what will happen to the standard of care? I think, of course, the standard of care will uh, sooner or later become TDXD because the PFS was almost doubled. But we have a very early readout of the trial and need, of course, to await the final analysis until we see how big is the difference because neither TDXD nor THP have um, reached the upper limit of the confidence interval. So we need a bit careful, but otherwise I think more more or less the uh, qualitative difference will remain and we will probably have a new standard of care with TDXD plus P but of course um, uh, one or the other regulators would like to see how TDXD would perform to THP. So actually the subgroup analysis were very homogeneous, so um, supporting the stable results of the Destiny Breast 09 study. And uh, none of the um, subgroups had a worse outcome with TDXD. So and also the novel metastatic breast cancer, so those who have never received any treatment for her 2 positive breast cancer and those who have recurred after having been treated in early um, her to positive breast cancer with anti her 2 therapy um, had benefited uh, from TDXD. With one caveat, of course, that we need to look a little bit closer to the pretreatment because 50% were de novo metastatic. And in the recurrent patients, we had um, patients who have never seen TDM1, which is the standard of care for non-PCR patients today, and which are the majority of our recurrent patients. And only a, a limited amount of patients had received pertuzumab for early breast cancer. So overall, as expected, we see more side effects um, with TDXD. Um, we know that, and this was not only TDXD, this was TDXD plus pertuzumab. So we see a similar rate of diarrhea um, as expected, but of course we see more neutropenia, we see more hematological toxicity, but also more GI toxicity as well as lung toxicities and five patients died in the TDXD plus P arm. So there is no new safety signal, but overall, um, as expected, the TDXD plus P arm um, patients had more side effects. Well, this is a very interesting question because when we move TDXD to first line, the question remains, what do we give a second and third line treatment because we know that the patients need subsequent anti 2 therapy and um, the, we have not tested any other treatment after TDXD uh, systematically. So um, we hopefully can also cure her to positive metastatic breast cancer with TDXD sooner or later or with other treatments that we um, have been uh, seeing in the last years, especially maintenance treatments for hormone receptor positive subgroups. Um, and this will be implemented in our treatment algorithms. <music>